<laughs> Hello, this is not a spring chicken. As you can tell, it is cold outside and, well, let's just say, this place is a barn. It can get cold too. So, but meanwhile, well, I get to show you all. As you can see, well, summer is, um, on, is supposed to be here and it's on its way. But now is a great time to get your summer buys because before long, well, the back to school will start coming in and you'll have a hard time finding clothes for the summer, especially when it's really hot. But for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Okay, for all you people that may have heard this opening, what she felt and neglect is that the going to school sales started today officially. Oh, that's right! And in two it. weeks, all of the fall clothes will start to come into uh, into all of your stores <laughs> because we actually do, we're doing magic again this year, folks. Yay! We get to go back to the world of fashion, plus we're doing swimsuits and lingerie curve. Mm -hmm. And polls show it's all over for any Republican running against Obama because the people overwhelmingly support his economic policies. I, 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 I know. We could do uh, <laughs> mad pull Obama. Uh, okay, that's got to be the biggest bunch of BS. I mean, all the polls that I've seen, including the ones by most of the Democratic concerns, show Obama, you know, of his, uh, you know that shows as many as 70, somewhere between 65 and 70 percent of the people think he's an idiot when it comes to running the government. Total. I mean, we're not talking, we're talking his approval rating is 39% um, of his maximum. And they don't think, he, they, they said 70% uh, of people say our economy is going the wrong direction. And his, his whole plan is we need to spend more money. Mm -hmm. We didn't spend enough money the first time because George Bush, I love it, George Bush and the Republicans prevented us from spending. George Bush wasn't president and he controlled both houses of Congress. Mm -hmm. but the problem was he spent so much money the Democrats couldn't even approve it anymore. Ooh. And Democratic Party election leaders won't wean her out, but he won't go. Now we'll bring on Mary Jane Obama. Mary Jane Obama mm -hmm. has a purpose for Wiener. My guess is Wiener, okay, they're going to run Alan ba Alec Baldwin, or Mr. Baldwin, against who's ever going to run for the mayor of New York, which means they're, Baldwin is playing hold the territory for Wiener. Because they figure the Democrats don't give a damn about us. I mean, they, uh, the people upstairs running the congressional campaign say this is killing them. But it's keeping people off of Barack Obama's backside. Mm -hmm. Well, except for the fact that there are, every economy is going backwards and the people that aren't working. Uh, I love, here's one. We'll go back to Mad Bull Obama. David Axelrod. The people really don't care what the figures are saying. Yeah, they care what the people, they say, if there's 9.1%, which they actually admit is closer to 10%, which most of the people in the public know is closer to 20%, they actually can't, okay, <laughs> you know we're being paged again, <laughs> I know. But hi, well, you have to keep talking about Wiener. I know, yeah, we're being paged, it's, it's not a Twitter thing, so we can guarantee that. So. And highlights, but no bombshells out of Sarah Palin's email so far. Well, no, okay, this was done to make the Democrats look bad again. You know, she's, she's basically playing everybody. She said, well, she's taking all, sucking all the life out of the Republican candidates. And I heard one of the guys said, yeah, like we want any one of the damn candidates to run it right now. <laughs> He said, if you suck the life out of someone no one loves, wants to begin, he said, strike that stake in that guy's heart is what they're doing. They're wanting her to clean these people out. Yeah, well, it's like, um, who are the candidates again? They don't want okay, Romney. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cut Romney is darn near old enough to be Obama's father. I mean, uh, Newt Gingrich is. Plenty has basically the charisma of a wet noodle, and Perry, well, he has no chance in hell of getting the nominee he, because he basically... He and he, he's, uh, he's, he's basically against most of the principles of the Christian right. So well, see, in it. a year that should be a given to the Republicans, they managed to screw it up again. Well, they said that this is what I read. We got a thing we're doing an editorial on any Republican, but the one that is going to be nominated to run against Obama can beat Obama. <laughs> is that a good one? Because the Republican is going to the Republican. Okay, Romney isn't even going to go to the, uh, the uh, Iowa or any of these places where he knows he can't win. He's not even going to participate. Mm -hmm. And since he knows he can't win, they're not going to vote for the man in those states, folks. That's right. He's basically writing off Republican states to Barack Obama. So what? You want that guy as a presidential nominee? No. 
in California wind farms killing golden eagles in record amounts. Yeah, I mean, they haven't, how long have we been telling people that the environmentalists are the biggest thorn in the side that green power has, not the Republicans? The environmentalists will not allow you to build wind farms. They will not allow you to build solar areas. They will not allow you to be, build ocean things because it has an effect on the animals or anything else in the area. You can't, they won't allow it to happen. They're, it's, they, they stop every form of energy use there is, except bringing stuff into the country. And they won't allow new plants to be built for using all that stuff. Sounds smart, doesn't it? Now, well, yeah. just remember, uh, I'm going to try something. My, my parents own a place in Mineral King. They, uh, they have rights to go, they have rights to cut across federal ground to get into the place in Mineral Creek. We have been, my, my family has been fighting a battle since 1960 to get onto our own property because the Sierra Club, who goes all over the place in their four wheel drives, will not allow us to go to the property we own in Mineral King. So they did the same thing and killed Walt Disney, folks. Walt because Disney. Walt Disney was trying, fighting with the, with the Sierra Club and the environmentalist about putting a ski resort in the Mineral King. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the only way we can get into it is we have to come through Nevada. Well, you have to join the environmentalists. Yeah, well, and work from the know, inside. They, they pissed my, my father off about it. We got this really beautiful place. We're going to build a great big, overlooks everything beautiful. You can go ski, oh. you know, downhill skiing and all that stuff. We can't use it. You can go through Nevada and get in. Which means we have to circle around five hours, an hour and a half out of Las Vegas, to the, and then you go up on a goat path to get into things that we have a right of way to get into through California. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Polanti proposes three-tier income tax system. Has no chance whatsoever because it, you can't get the Republicans and Democrats mm -hmm. to agree on anything when it comes to taxes. Democrats think there's too much taxes. Republicans, Democrats don't think. They said the problem is not with too many taxes. The problem is we don't have enough taxes. Whereas the Republicans will cite the fact that those people you say that unfair, that aren't paying their taxes, pay 95% of all the taxes. And it's the ones that say that everybody else should be taxed that won't pay their taxes. That's the one that, yeah. They're the, they, okay, there are 49% of the people believe that the, the taxes need to be raised upon the wealthy, and 51% of people pay no tax, no income. But they pay sales taxes. Yeah. Uh, that's not to the federal government, that's to the local governments. Mm. Somalia says it killed Africa's top Al Qaeda operative. Okay, Matt, well, you know, we can have, you know, Mary Jane Obama. Once again, they say, I don't like, I, okay, I'm a, I, I, I learned journalism 50 years ago. Oh, God, 19, 40. 60, that's about 62 years ago. That's when I went to, started going to college 52 years ago. You know, I was in college 52 years ago. I went to journalism school and they actually taught you, you know, uh, trust but verify. If you don't have a first hand source that it happened, it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. You don't take second hand information and put it up on the front page of your newspaper, but that's what they do today. Oh. Yeah. Oh, is that why the seven Democrats asked them to suspend the illegal alien fingerprinting? Uh, seven, seven, yeah, because they they want they want to turn. They said that good people are being tossed out of this state. Here's a good one. Um, they're they're going to love this one. Their own statistics will show there are more educated illegals in our country than there are uneducated illegals. Mm -hmm. The educated ones are coming across the border because there's no jobs for them there. They're probably coming across legally. They're coming across illegally. Oh, they are? There, there are more educated illegal aliens in our country than there are uneducated because oh, the, ed uh, the educated are coming across the border to take the jobs away from the people in our country. That's that, isn't that a great statistic? Which when they say, well, we're losing all of these people. Well, no, you're not because they come across, they educated once when their schools are coming across. Mm -hmm. If you educate a per, an illegal alien here, he has to compete with the educated illegal alien that's already got the job. Ah. Yeah, as if they know how hard they work, you're not going to replace them. That's why when they get the edge, that's why they flee back across to Mexico because there's no job for them here. Oh, and, not, and actually that has been happening. Yeah. And non-governing U.S. territory Guatemala is going its own way. I know, isn't that something? You know, uh, basically, they can't survive on their own. <laughs> they, their survival is based upon the U.S. military base and tourism. When the military base is gone, the tourism goes with it, and they're stuck a zillion miles from nowhere with nobody. Well, they said that uh, they actually don't want to separate from the United States. They would like to become a state. 
which basically that more than likely was going to happen because we can't afford to lose the Guam military base, folks. Mm -hmm. That is like, you know, we got to have that as a fueling point because our planes don't, you know, in the middle of a war. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, it's because it's a fueling point. It's our largest military base in that part of the ocean. And they're moving soldiers because, you know, our great president is taking a lot of the troops out of Japan and moving them to Guam. The people in Guam are pissed off. So, and then, like I said, I read the thing, you know, there's only like 40% of the people are indigenous now anyway, because most of the people in Guam left. Oh. Yeah, they did, because they want to get better jobs elsewhere, so the majority of the people that are going to be voting to separate themselves from the United States aren't, were never born there. Mm-hmm. Great, isn't it? And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, okay, this is, I like this one, that, uh, that if what you're doing doesn't work, then why in the world do you continue to do the same thing? Because we're going to try, you know what the definition of insanity is according to Albert Einstein? Mm -hmm. Doing the same thing that doesn't work over and over again. 